Hey there, everybody. Coach Aaron here from over at Summers Fitness. Today, I have a little bit of an encouraging message for you. If you're going through a rough time in your life, uh, stay tuned. Uh, I've got a good uh, good word of encouragement for you to keep going and to reframe your mindset because that, that's part of it too. Is uh, Here, we talk a lot about fitness. We talk a lot about working out and nutrition and different things like that, but spirituality and mentality and mindset have a lot to do with success and have a lot to do with um, with your, your success in fitness too. So um, that's one thing that we talk about a lot here. That's one thing that we really believe in is spirituality and mindset. So uh, this is for you if you're going through a rough time and you need a little bit of encouragement. Um, so let me ask you this, let me start with this. Has this ever happened to you? So you've been, you've been working really, really hard uh, towards a goal. Finally, you're starting to see things happen. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor come about and you're getting really, really close to that goal. And then all of a sudden, everything is just taken away from you in an instant. The fruits that you've created are completely stolen and crushed. It could be by somebody, it could just happen out of nowhere. Uh, it seems like we're all in that position at some point in our life, and I know that I've been there many, many times, and I know that's tough to stay encouraged, it's tough to move forward. So let me, let me reframe your mindset to this. Uh, and this comes from a book that I've recently been reading called Crushing, and uh, th think of it like this. So imagine the grapevine. So the grapevine, you know, it, it works hard and it starts to see the fruits of its labor, it starts to see the grapes come about. And then somebody comes along, takes the grapes, puts them in a bin and starts crushing them. As the grapevine, you would have no idea what's going on. It just seems like somebody just completely took everything that you've worked so hard for, what you're proud of, and took it away and started crushing it. But what they don't see on the other side is the vine dresser or the uh, the vintner is what I believe what it's called. Uh, what the vintner does is, you know, it takes the grapes, it starts crushing them, it creates the juice out of the grapes, it creates something good, and it eventually turns into wine. So think of your life like that. You may be working towards something and, and at some point it might seem like that whatever you're creating, the fruits of your labor are, are getting completely taken away from you or completely crushed. And I know it seems hopeless at the time, but imagine that that it's actually being turned into something better. And I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And a lot of times that's, that's what happens in life is, you know, things seem unfair at times, but you kind of see later on down the line that it all happened for a reason. So think of it like that. So, so your fruits are being crushed and your fruits are being taken away from you for a reason that you can't see further on down the line. So that's what happens. The, uh, the vintner takes the grapes, they crush it, turn it into juice. And then over time, uh, it becomes more of a finer wine and those wines that you know are 50 years old or older uh, People pay a premium price for those wines. So that, that's like top Quality so sometimes whenever that happens, you just gotta you just got to keep pushing you got to give it some time And in the end it turns into something much better than what you ever could have expected so I know that's kind of a, a different weird way to think about things, but um but hopefully that helps. I know uh, I know sometimes it's tough, sometimes it feels hopeless when that happens to you. So I just wanted to offer some wise words of encouragement and try to, try to reframe your mindset and think of things a little bit differently. So hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit different, but I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.